Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Saifuddin And this is Quran Read and Reflect So this is the first episode Where we will go through the Muqaddimah Or the reasoning behind Why we are doing this series Now, um, for us Muslim uh, We know already that the Quran Is something that should be close to our heart right? What is Quran? Uh, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Mentioned that Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alif Lam Mim Zalikal Kitab La Raiba Fih Hudan Lil Muttaqin So it is Huda It is a source of guidance For those who have Taqwa Right So how can we Claim something to be The source of guidance for us If we do not even know uh, Where is the direction that uh, The Quran Guide us to Towards Right So this is the fundamental uh, question that uh, becomes the basis of why we are discussing this right now something interesting in the quran is that um, there is no direct um, place where allah directly scold or get angry for people who do not read the quran of course reading the quran is basically expected right for example we have the surah an-nahl uh, surah number 16 verse uh, 98 A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim fa iza qara'tu al-qur'an fa iza qara'ta al-qur'an fasta'iz billahi minash shaitanir rajim so when you recite the quran you should um, seek forgiveness or refuge by reciting a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim right so when you recite iza fa iza qara'ta al-qur'an right fa iza when it's not is not if if you read the quran not because we are expected to read the quran however um, one place or two places that um, Allah mentioned in, Qur- in the Quran on how we react or how we deal with the Quran where it indicates that Allah is angry or scolding someone is when Allah mentioned A'udhu Billah Min Shaitan Rajim Afala yatadabbaroon al-Quran am ala kulubin afqaluha Right, this is an example from Surah uh, Muhammad uh, verse number 24 Right. So, uh, here is a direct question. Afala yatadabbarun al-Quran? Afala yatadabbarun al-Quran? Why are you not doing tadabbur on the Quran? Why do are you not reflecting or meditate on the Quran? Am ala kulubin afqaluha? Is there any lock already on your heart? Right. So, um, verse like this uh, indicates that there's a direct question from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on whoever that do not uh, perform tadabbur on the Quran, right? So, uh, it is interesting where Allah that do not directly get angry towards those who do not read the Quran, but Allah gets angry to those who do not perform tadabbur on the Quran, right? So, um, that is the foundation of this series, inshallah, where we want to do tadabbur, we want to reflect on the Quranic verses that we already know and memorize, right? So hence we will start from the Juzu Amma, the thirtieth Juzu, um, from the short surah that normally most Muslim uh, memorize it already from very young age. And unfortunately, many of us do not understand. So that's one thing: do not understand. Second, do not even reflect. So what is the direction that I should be leading my life? Towards based on that surah, based on that verses, right? So, inshallah, hopefully, um, starting next episode, we will focus on uh, surah to Anas um, and onwards, inshallah. Wallahu alam. So, hope that we can gain benefit from this, uh, inshallah. Wallahu alam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.